Hampton Court, the magnificent Baroque palace sitting in the London borough of Richmond upon Thames, is quite well known for hosting at least two of Henry VIII's wives. His third wife, Jane Seymour, passed away as a consequence of labour complications in 1537, and his fifth wife, young Catherine Howard, who was executed for adultery and treason in 1542. However, many more entities dwell among the ancient walls of this majestic building. Jane Seymour, Henry VIII's beloved third wife, is said to manifest as a sad white apparition holding a burning candle. Just a few days after giving birth to King Henry's yearned-for male heir, Prince Edward, she died at Hampton Court. The joy of the king at the birth of his first son was soured by the pain for the loss of his dear wife, a mild woman and a perfect queen and consort in his eyes. So much he loved her that she is the only one among his six wives to be buried alongside him in the royal tomb at Windsor Castle. The spectre is said to appear on the anniversary of Edward's birth, on the 12th of October, on the silver stick stairs, which once led to the room in which Jane Seymour gave birth and died. Catherine Howard, King Henry VIII's fifth wife, was a young and unruly character, executed at the young age of just 19. She was accused of adultery and treason and put under arrest at Hampton Court Palace. The guards seized her, but the terrified girl broke free of their grasp and ran screaming and calling for the king, begging for mercy along what is now known as the Haunted Gallery. Her imploration never reached Henry, who was praying in the chapel at the time. Catherine never saw her king again. She was captured and taken to the Tower of London, where she was beheaded in 1542. She is reported to manifest regularly and to be rather vocal. Her screams are reportedly heard in the haunted gallery where she relives the traumatic events that ended her life for eternity. A lesser known, more humble ghost that is said to haunt Hampton Court is that of Sybil Penn. She was a loyal and faithful servant to four Tudor monarchs, so much so that after her death she was buried in Hampton Church. She wet nursed Edward VI and Elizabeth I. When, in 1562, Elizabeth caught smallpox, Sybil never left her side. She nursed Elizabeth and took care of her until she finally healed. Poor Sybil was not so lucky. She caught smallpox herself and died shortly thereafter. Sybil is reported to appear regularly, manifesting as a grey lady. Manifestations intensified after her grave was disturbed during renovations of the church in 1829. Many were the reports of a grey lady walking along the corridors of the clock court and of the state apartments at Hampton Court. Along with her apparition, strange sounds of a spinning wheel were heard coming from behind a wall in a Grace and Favour apartment. It is said that once the wall was knocked down, workers were baffled at the discovery of an old and worn spinning wheel. Renovation work is often known to stir activity. However, sometimes they are known to make it stop. This is what happened in 1871 to an old woman living in a Grace and Favour apartment who complained of continuous knocking and banging sounds coming from her walls. The activity had allegedly been going on for years. As it happens, most believed it to be the ranting of an old eccentric woman. Until... During a routine excavation under a cloister in Fountain Court, two male skeletons were unearthed. The two bodies could not be identified. The most accepted hypothesis is that they were the bodies of two men who fell victims to roundhead violence during the Civil War and whose bodies were disposed of in a hurry. The graves were most likely hidden or had passed unnoticed during the building of the palace in 1689. Once the bodies were given a proper burial, all activity stopped. This was not the first and only time Hampton Court made the news. In October 2003, footage from a CCTV camera was made public, showing a fire door flying open and a ghostly figure, apparently wearing period clothes, hurriedly closing it. 
The footage became famous worldwide, capturing the interest of many believers and of as many detractors. What is peculiar is that the door had flung open for three days in a row. The apparition was captured only on the second day. In this footage, you can see the door flying open and a pale figure, looking like they're wearing a hooded cloak, coming forth to grab the doors and shut them once again. What is your opinion? Was this a prank? Was it a reenactor clumsily opening a door by mistake and trying to close it in a hurry, hoping to go unnoticed? Or was this an actual apparition? Let us know in the comments. Many people argue that most paranormal activity is just a trick of the eyes or of the mind, stemming from suggestion or from particular environmental conditions. This was also Dr. Richard Wiseman's idea. A psychologist, Dr. Wiseman decided to conduct an experiment at Hampton Court to shed more light on the veracity of ghosts and on the power of suggestion. A number of volunteers were enrolled. Participants were asked to describe whether they were believers in the paranormal or skeptics. People were then sent to wander around the palace and asked to record any unusual activity that they would eventually experience. As it had been predicted, the group of believers reported a higher amount of unexplained activity. What is striking, though, is that many sensations or experiences that were recorded by both groups took place in the exact same locations, particularly in the Georgian rooms and in the haunted gallery, both by those who knew the legends and by those who did not. This was not the only instance of synchronicity in unexplained occurrences. One day in 1999, Two women visiting the palace during separate tours fainted in the exact same spot in the haunted gallery. Many royals have passed through these wonderful buildings and have left their mark, it seems. Next time you visit one of these stately homes, keep your eyes peeled for something out of the ordinary. Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel for more spooky videos?